We really are pushing the boundaries here in Formula E. We race all electric cars and it's the only championship in the world where the car is powered purely by the battery and the electric motors. The future is electric and the reason we're doing that is because of the environment. It's about reducing emissions and about having clean mobility and it's an incredible platform to be part of. It's an incredibly important mission for all of us to not only safeguard the future but do it in a way that gets people's attention in an engaging and entertaining way. I've come from a, you know, a, a traditional background, from a, you know, internal combustion engine background. You know, I've grown up through go karts, you know, Formula Three, Formula Two, so big V8 and V6 turbos my whole life. So it's been a bit different, but um, racing-wise, it's, it's extremely competitive. So for the driver, it's, it's very cool to be part of. We have a 52 kilowatt hour usable energy battery that uses lithium ion cells, so much like your, your mobile phone. We then deliver that energy through an inverter into an electric motor, delivering drive to the rear wheels. But then uniquely also by pushing the brake pedal, under braking for a corner, the motor turns into a generator and actually allows us to put energy back into the battery. So informally we start the race with not enough energy to finish the race. And the reason we can is because we're putting energy back into the battery as we race. But it is a really important part of the strategy because you have to determine when you're attacking and going flat out, when you can afford to put energy back in, because when you're doing that, you're potentially susceptible to be overtaken. So it's really a kind of a, a game of chess at high speed. From season one to season four, we had two cars per driver. So in the middle of, uh, of the race, the, the driver needed to swap the car in order to finish the race. So for this year, season five, uh, it was the first time that we have the generation two car. So in only four seasons, we have been able to double the capacity of the battery. So one of the unique things with Formula E is we have a certain number of common components. The chassis and the 52 kilowatt hour battery is the same for every team on the grid. Then the exciting bit that we can develop is the powertrain. And that's the electric motor, the inverter, the gearbox, the rear suspension and the software are open for our development. So all the investment that we put in as a manufacturer is focused on the electric vehicle powertrain and that's about driving this technology forward to make the cars that you and I will drive in the future even better. At Jaguar Racing we have already a number of learnings that we've taken from this program that we are applying to future production cars, understanding how we make things lighter and more efficient so we can drive faster for longer. And that's not to mention the space race in Formula E, which is software development. You know, whereas it used to be about getting greasy and dirty, it's actually now about the coding you put into these cars makes you faster. And that can be developed race on race. So these cars are getting faster all the way through the season because of the coding and the software work that we're doing. All five lights are on and we go green in New York City. To race in a city like New York is absolutely amazing. I don't think any other championship in the world would be able to achieve that just because of the, the nature of the, of, of the technology, having obviously no emissions, very low in sound, it allows us to race in these city centres, and that is really, really cool. Mitch Evans up the inside of Van Dorn. Oh, I think he's got that one, Evans. This year, we have done 13 races in 11 different cities, and the races have been in Saudi Arabia, Mexico, Hong Kong, Rome, Paris, Berlin, and now in New York. You know, when we race in places like here in New York, you have to stop the city, but you're stopping the city for an important reason. You're telling that the future is about clean energy and as a way of making a statement, the way of indicating either regulation change or just a change of culture. Losing out to Mitch Evans. Oh, Evans gets a nudge from behind and that might have damaged his car. Four, five, six years ago, EVs had different barriers. The, the price, the cars were not cool, they were perceived as not cool. Uh, they were not quick, the battery didn't last for long. So Formula E is showing that they can go fast, that they're cool, and that the battery lasts for quite a long time. So breaking those barriers is the main asset that the Formula E offers to the big manufacturers. And through goes Mitch Evans! Evans, what a pass! Hey, NBC.
NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.